You will see more food and clothing programs from the new Black Panther Party. Right. Right. You will see our newspaper in regular circulation from the new Black Panther Party. You will see our program to stop violence and gang violence and to stop police brutality. You will see that from the new Black Panther Party. We are in Newberry, South Carolina and fighting against the real hatred, mm -hmm. the real intimidation. Black people being lynched and dragged behind pickup trucks. Mm -hmm. We're still man. right now in Ooh, Newberry, wait. South Carolina, yeah, fighting to what, for what you're supposed That's to be right. talking Don't about, right. but refuse to cover. That's right. Moving now on August 21st with our National Chief of Staff. Right moving on Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and the corruption that's taking place in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Let me say this, the enemy plans, and God plans, and God is the best of plans. I heard from those that taught me that every knock could be a boost. That every knock is a boost. So as they are attacking us, our phone lines are ringing off the hook. As they are attacking us, our email is jumping off the hook with both hate mail and love mail. <laughs> with both hate mail and love mail. So we don't worry about the hate mail, but the love mail. Dear brothers and sisters, the new Black Panther Party is being reborn before your very eyes. The new Black Panther Party voice will become a strong and a solid voice, a credible voice in the cause for our liberation as we move in the future. And so I say to the black press and to those who are taping who, who will run this, that's and run right. this on the black community. That's right. Understand that we are your friends. That's right. Understand that we are your defenders. Right. Understand that we are your allies. Don't believe what the mainstream press says. Don't, Don't believe the lies of the mainstream Don't media. Right. Put a stop to the lies of Glenn That's Beck. Right. Put a stop to the lies of Rush Limbaugh. Yes, Put a stop to the lies of Fox News, Sean Hannity, Abraham Foxman. All of these enemies will become our footstool. That's right. All of them will become our footstool. Because you cannot stop the rise of a black messiah. You cannot stop the rise of a people who are determined to be free. And you will not stop the new Black Panther Party. Nor will you stop Charles Barrett. No. Nor will you stop Simotep. Right. Nor will you stop the Uhuru movement and the Omali Eshetela. Right. Nor will you stop the People's Organization for Progress. Right. And nor will you split or divide us from one another. We are one nation. We are one family. Yes, sir. And we fear God and God alone. Yes, we will not be destroyed in this hour. And America has political prisons. That's right. That's right. That's right. And they're and their uh, plight is being ignored. That's right. Many lives were destroyed. That's right. That's right. That's lives were lost. And brothers and sisters are locked behind bars right now. That's right. Imam Jamil Alameen right now, one of the greatest freedom fighters and liberators that our people have ever known is locked behind bars. Mumia Abu Jamal is suffering right now in state prison in Pennsylvania behind the counterintelligence program. Uh, Sundiata Okoli. That's right. Go ahead, call the names. I don't want to show you. Russia shows. Brother Shep, come right here. Shep Africa. I'm in Bell. Give us the list. You go down the list. Matter of fact, New York State has more political prisons than anybody else. That's right. We got Herman Bell. We got Jalil Montagin. We have Sekou Odinga. Some of you have the information on Sekou. That's right. But we can just go on and on. And petition that you all signed, thank you for signing that. Um, just when people go out of office, like when Clinton did it, he freed his own people he wanted. Right. Every time somebody goes out of office, we want David Patterson to grant clemency and pardon to our political prisoners. Yes, sir. 40 years is long enough. Free the Panthers. We also want to acknowledge for all of those struggles that I named, the Million Youth March and Dr. Khaled Muhammad, and today fighting constantly for self-determination. I'm so honored that they are here. I'm talking about the December 12th movement of right. Brother Omar Ali Kim, D12 in the house, formerly the New York 8. They know what it's like to come under attack. I'm so happy. Just give everybody that has come out to support us because it's not easy. That's right. Trust me, you can ask Sylvia, it ain't easy. 
So let's give Sylvia a strong black hand. Just standing up.